Do you remember that bit on Tomorrow's World where they first showed us CDs and showed us how indestructible they were? playing record from here to here. 60 minutes of digital music. That's music recorded as a series of electronic pulses. A lot of record companies are now recording music using digital techniques, but until now, it's always been converted back to the conventional system, onto an ordinary vinyl record, which collects dust, gets scratched, and relies on the needle physically tracking along the groove to reproduce the sound. Look at him with his coat on like he's not stopping. Hey mate, aren't you doing the uh, segment on the CD? Yeah, but I got a train to catch straight afterwards. This new long playing record looks very similar to a video disc we've shown you before. The surface is covered by a layer of transparent plastic, so you don't have to worry about grubby fingers or even scratches. Wouldn't have it. If there's a speck of dust within a mile radius, I'd be, it'd be skipping, you'd be getting out and looking at it. So where is it? What's going on? Is it scratched? Is it dust? Give it a little blow, put it, rub it on your t-shirt. Does that make it work? Still skipping. I'm pretty sure on Tomorrow's World, they also have a segment where they got a CD and they smeared jam all over it and it still played somehow. But I can't find the clip, unfortunately. I did find this clip though, from BBC Breakfast, where they smeared some honey on a CD to see if it would play. Signal is sealed into a plastic sandwich. The new disc should be more resilient than a conventional gramophone record. Well, let's give it the breakfast time test. Some honey, nice and sticky and runny. Smear that over liberally. Make sure it's nicely spread around there. Bit of coffee. Should see it through. And uh, give it a quick wipe down. Right, that should be it. Let's see how it sounds. Imagine the people that actually did that and completely messed up their CD player. Have to take it back to Rumbelows or Tandy's or whatever as it would have been then. Not working, you say? Oh, let's just have a quick look at it. Is that honey? And now CDs are pretty much gone. The only place I see them now, to be honest, is in my mum's garden. She grows a lot of her own vegetables and hangs them off of bamboo canes to scare the birds away. Although she does listen to a lot of Cliff Richard, so no wonder it scares them.